All right, so I decided to re-record um, the 2-2 speedrun tutorial. Um, I had a video for it already, but um, I was clearing my throat a lot, and I kind of did not explain some sections very well. Uh, and not only that, I had the wrong... Uh, I had the wrong... You can actually see a 2 there in the video, but it's because I had to do an overlay. I actually had forgot to change that. Um, and it actually says World 1 behind that thing, so I had to make it say World 2, so... Uh, just for the sake of consistency, but um, <clears throat> anyway, uh, let me just preface this stage by saying it is incredibly difficult. Um, this is probably one of the hardest stages in the entire game. Uh, for 100%, I'd say 4-4 four, four probably takes the cake. 4-4 four, four is incredibly long and incredibly hard. Um, but the other contenders, I'd say 2-5, um, maybe 4-6. Uh, but uh, in my opinion, 2-2 two, two follows shortly behind 4-4. Four, 2-4, four. Two, four, I mean, 2-2 two, two is just hard. I mean, there's no other way to say it. Um, pretty much every hard trick about Hundo, I say every, not really every, but many of the hard tricks about Hundo speedrunning uh, strats are all kind of jam-packed into 2-2. Two, two. So... Um, practice this stage a lot because you're gonna need it. Um, so, when you start the level, um, you don't have to worry about any of this other stuff here. Just kind of jump over these two uh, uh, catchers, these two baseball boys, and start aiming an egg from the bottom. And then as soon as it gets to, to be horizontal, you want to keep moving as you're throwing. Um, let the egg go and jump between, you know, jump over this, uh, this other one with the bat. And as this thing cracks open, it's not going to reveal a flower or any stars. It's going to make a pillar drop. And right before I, right after I land, I kind of do a quick turnaround and another jump. I find that when I do that, I don't lose all my speed here. Uh, because after this pillar goes down, sometime when you, sometimes Yoshi won't do that. He won't just keep moving forward at full speed. He will just, he'll be like he hit a wall here. And I don't really know what causes that. Um, obviously it's a time loss, but it's certainly not worth resetting over. So if you get that, just keep going, grab the flower. Um, <clears throat> so depending on how many eggs you came in with one or from two, one, uh, you know, it will depend on whether or not you want to eat both of these. Obviously it's slower to eat both of them. So depending on how many eggs I have, um, I usually just eat this red guy and then keep going. The one thing you want to make sure you're not doing here, you want to make sure you are not at five or six eggs here. Um, it may still work with five, but it definitely will not work with six. Um, because there's a jump you're going to do off of a green shy guy that pops out of a, a pipe. And it's one of those pipes that perpetually spits out shy guys so that you can get six eggs in a casual play. Um, but if you have six eggs, none will spawn and you won't be able to do your jump. So you kind of want to watch your egg management. You know, you want to manage your eggs here. Um, so I typically just eat that first one. Um, and you're going to do two jumps to get over these... Um, these spitting plants here um, and there's two red coins in each one of these arcs so you want to grab the two here do another jump and grab these two and swallow the guy in your mouth um, and as I start falling through this red coin this is the only one of the I think it's the only section in the game where you take an intentional hit um, I can't remember if you do it in any other stages in 100% but you do it here because you don't have any stars yet um, and what that does is I fall through that red coin and kind of turn left and then run straight into that milled on purpose. And then I get knocked back. And then I hold left to flutter left a little bit. And then immediately start holding right again. You just got to kind of get the rhythm of that. It's a little weird. Um, but as this toady comes down to grab baby Mario. I grab baby Mario back. And then I grab the toady. Um, and you want to. This is probably the most important uh, section of, of, the, of the stage really. Um, the toady is going to, you're going to basically be this toady's, um, chauffeur. You're not going to swallow him. If you make an egg out of him, you will, um, have to take the baby Mario star and that loses a bunch of time. So, uh, you want to grab that toady and keep him in your mouth. Um, and then avoid those milds. Cause when you put, when you jump on a mild, it's not like jumping on a normal enemy. Yoshi stops in his place and the mild will pop. Um, and it's incredibly slow. You just kind of want to avoid um, popping those milds. Um, again, hold him. Skip this stuff. Just kind of avoid getting hit here. 
run through here. Um, now the visual cue I look for here is there's this tree, this these two these two trees here, but after this first tree, there's a lump of grass here, and then there's this divot in the ground. I look for this divot, and as soon as Yoshi, the front of Yoshi's feet are touching that, I jump and keep holding forward until I bounce off of this green shy guy that's going to jump out at the same time, just like that. And you want to hold left and then flutter up here. But a, a holding the flutter button is not enough. You have to do another, I think it's a perfect flutter. You have to do another perfect flutter right there to gain enough height to get up there. And as soon as I land here, I spit the toady out. And the reason we do that is because when Yoshi has an enemy in his mouth, an, a timer starts to tick down. Um, the game keeps track of how long you have an enemy in your mouth. And if you have an enemy in your mouth for too long, Yoshi will automatically swallow him and make an egg. And again, if you swallow this toady, you're going to lose a bunch of time. So I spit him out uh, to avoid uh, the auto swallow. Uh, and then I retongue him. And uh, you just kind of want to do some, you want to do, j avoid the slopes, do some quick jumps here. And your objective is just to basically get through here without getting hit and avoiding slopes. Um... So I, I did a little turn around there. I'm not really sure why, but I jump up here and I do this. I did that part really slow. Um, so you go up here and as the screen starts to scroll up, this is where you're going to do the games, the 100% uh, categories, a uh, first set of red coin duplications. Um, and these are obscenely difficult. Um, they require a lot of practice and uh it's just hard. So you're just gonna have to practice it and do the best you can. So as soon as I get up here and the screen starts scrolling, I spit the toady to the right and then jump, immediately jump. And as soon as I jump, I start uh, tongue, I tongue this fly guy. And then, and then immediately, it happened really fast. Um, I tongue him and then immediately up spit him to the right. Now you will see literally everyone else do a double up spit to the left for these guys. I do not do that because it kept screwing me up and I kept getting that coin. And if you eat the fly guy and then immediately get the coin, you obviously can't dupe it. So getting the coins after you tongue these guys is bad. Um, so I found that if I do that and I up spit him to the right, it works a lot better. And then as I'm jumping again, I up tongue that guy and then spit him up to the left. And the key here is is to not get these coins but to let them stay on the ground and as i avoid that coin i jump back over here and because you spit that first guy to the right he'll fall down this hole and despawn and because you spit that guy to the left and then ran to the right he went far enough off screen to also despawn so i run to the right probably a little further than i should have but then i turn around and at this tuft of at this little divot in these two tufts of grass as soon as my feet touch that, I throw a neutral, and it will bounce off this platform and hit this guy and make him drop a second coin after you dupe for the first dupe here. And then as I'm passing after the ricochet, as I'm passing under this guy, I throw an upshot. So instead of two coins here, you get four. Um, and what that looks like at full speed is... So you got four coins there. You dupe two of them. So, um, and you and, and you still have to... The, the thing that makes this so difficult is you have to do it while you're juggling this toady. Um, and because you there's so much crap going on right here right now. This toady is still absolutely important. But you have to get rid of him in your mouth in order to dupe these guys. Um, so... You, you just have to play with this because if you do this too slow, that toady will fly away and it's just as bad as if, as if you swallowed him. So you do, you know, the dupes, you just got to make sure that you're keeping this toady in your mouth. Um, so I, I, I do that jump there and as Yoshi's passing past the, the level ground here, I start aiming an egg and no one else does this. I just do it because it's consistent. Um... And I fall down, and as I as I hit this ground here, I start moving to the right. And as I walk off, the egg, the cursor will immediately be in line with all these coins, and then I just let it go. And what happens is you get a red coin here, and you get one down here. You want to make sure you're listening for the audio cues. Um, so 
the reason you have this toady in your mouth, you're about to find out right now. Um, so what I do is, and you can do this slower if you need to. Um, it doesn't really waste a whole lot of time. But the fast strat is to, before you get to this um, incline here, I jump and then up spit the toady. And I land on this. And as I, I jump again, and you want to jump again, and you want to get an extended flutter off his head. And, uh, and as soon as you do that, you'll flutter straight up. And it skips the entire Baby Mario section down below here, which you never see. Um, and there is no way to flutter under here without dying. Um, so, as you fall down, what I normally try to do is hit this egg block so it spits an egg to the left. And what that does is it saves a minuscule amount of time. Uh, but what it does is if you hit that to the left instead of the right like I did, the egg will still be on the ground and you'll only have to hit four out instead of five. But I missed it this time, so as you'll see, I'll come back and the egg will be despawned. And then I just kind of duck to preserve my position before I start jumping, and then I have to pop out five eggs. Because you want to get to six. No matter where you are here, you want to get to six eggs. So you grab them all, run through, aim an egg, break open the cloud, and make another shot to get the flower. That simple. Um, jump here, uh, red coin here, make sure you get that. And as I'm jumping through that red coin, I turn around, and I tongue that egg that he tries to throw at me. And I do it again. For that guy, you don't have to. It's slower to actually take that egg. But I do it just to have more eggs in this stage. Um, and I flutter here for a minute. And as I'm falling, I start aiming a shot. Or kind of right before I get to the... I start aiming a shot. And what it, what it does is it, it, it zips right through here over this guy's head. Gets the coin and then breaks open this uh, one-up cloud, which is not important. All that's important is this red coin. Um, now, that can be a tricky shot at first. Um... So if you end up having lots of trouble with this, literally all you ha all you can do here, and it doesn't lose that much time at all, is um, you can walk to the edge here and then just kind of do an almost neutral, kind of hold A for about a half a second and then throw it and he'll catch the egg. And then as, you, as, he's ca as he has the egg in his glove, you jump over, jump over, and he will start trying to throw the egg at you. And you just kind of tarry right here for a second so that he'll throw the egg into the into the uh, coin. And you, then you keep going. And that is just the first screen out of three uh, very large screens. So screen number two. As you're running in here, there's a, a tree with a, a frozen melon on it. And you don't get the melon you of no use to you in a speed run. Uh, the important part of this is, is the front part of this tree. Uh, the visual cue is when that I look for is when Yoshi's nose uh, is touching the front part of that tree. And I know it's kind of weird. You know, you aim the egg, so Yoshi's nose is not right here. But it's where Yoshi's nose kind of would have been. Um, and then I just throw a neutral. And what it does is it is it, it bounces and it bounces again and breaks off this green shy guy as a red egg and gives you two stars. Um, now, star RNG here can be a real pain in the tush um it i've had i've had stars the one of the stars bounce so far up that it almost lands up here it's just really stupid sometimes it'll do that um and what you don't want to do is if it if it bounces to the left and goes over this piranha don't chase it um because you risk you know wonky jumps that can get you eaten here to lose even more stars and it just becomes a huge mess and so if you get bad star rng here just grab the one or whatever you can do to get through here um really and ideally you really want to be at at least 21 stars here um because there's a section next uh where you'll want to be at at least 23 stars uh before you get to kind of toward the end of the level so 21 stars here is your cue um so i eat that green shy guy as i'm going over and then i, I back tongue that one as i'm bouncing and i swallow him on the way up and, and I, I touched that wall, which was really slow. Um, you don't want to do that, but I did it on accident. Um, so what you'll see a lot of people do here is as soon as they land on this, they'll start aim they'll, they'll face backwards and start aiming a, a, an egg to angle it kind of upwards. I don't do that because I'm not consistent at it. At that back turnaround, aiming an egg, I just don't like it. Um, so what I do is I land here and I take a little, just a fractional, m just minimal, uh, negligible time loss. And I start aiming the egg and then 
I throw it back into this section here to get one red coin. And you want to make sure you hear it. And then I bounce off of here. And what you'll see some people do is when they get up here, they'll bounce a little far more far uh, forward than I did. And they'll end up like up here off screen. And they'll throw their neutral while they're in the air coming down to do this. But I don't do that. I land and then throw an almost neutral. Um, and what I find what that does is it prevents. So if you do that method, you just have to play around with it. Because as this, there's a, a cloud in here with a flower in it. And as you crack it open, what that does is it can lock the screen. It'll keep the screen from scrolling. And as you're running and trying to jump as it does that, it will eat your jump input. Um, so what you want to do is just kind of prevent that. So to prevent that, what I do is um, is I jump up and I kind of start aiming an, an almost neutral as I'm running. And then I let it go and run off. And then I start aiming another egg as I'm running across this one and then I throw it again to get the flower you want to make sure you hear the flower pop so I jump in here um, I ran on this slope here you don't really want to do that um, but you want to grab this egg by jumping off of this Mauser you don't want to you don't want to try to tongue the Mauser here because if you do you'll tongue the egg and get the egg and then the Mauser will just steal one of your eggs so it, it literally is pointless so you want to bounce off of him to get that egg um, and do a quick short jump to get over this little thing here um, if you accidentally fall down here you want to duck until this guy shoots because that thing will literally if you're standing here if you're in here as a backup and you're standing instead of ducking this thing will hit you um, so if you end up falling down here on accident duck until he shoots and then jump out so, very quickly as this Mauser runs, I jump up, I tongue him, and then eat him on my way up. And I do kind of the same thing here, except I tongue that Mauser just to get him out of my way, and I hold him in my mouth for a minute. And I jump up here, land here, and start aiming a new, a neutral, uh, stay aiming an egg from the neutral down position, and then let it come up, and then immediately start holding back to start moving backwards, and then I let the shot go and jump. And... Typically what that does is it avoids this slope, but I bonked here and lost a, just one or two seconds there, which is really slow. Um, so then I jump and swallow the Mauser. Uh, and you want to watch this guy here as he's shooting at you. If you kind of mess this up and tarry too long, he'll shoot at you and hit you. Um, and if you're not careful, this will, depending on what angle he shoots at, it may come all the way down here, um, which is bad. Um, so you just want to kind of fall at an angle and avoid as much of the slope as you can. And I, I run on that slope on purpose because I find that jumping here does more harm than good. And I, I, I kind of eat that guy in preparation because where you want to jump, you want to make sure when you jump, you clear this, this section here. You want to make sure you fall all the way down. What I do is I swallow him, land on this flat part of the ground, um, run here, grab that Mauser. And I ran all the way down that slope. And yes, I run on slopes a little bit here because it's more consistent for me and it ensures that I'm not bonking my head on these downward angled ceilings and losing a bunch of time. I jump up, I spit that Mauser to get the flower. Um, and I do some jumps to just avoid as many slopes as I can. Um, I eat this Mauser um, and I accidentally in this run, like I said at the beginning, a few small mistakes. I accidentally fell down here and had to jump out. Um, so... And, and what I what I also did was I did not realize I was already at six eggs here. I wasn't paying attention. So I tried to... I jumped too late and tried to make an egg out of this guy. And as a result, I kind of hit an invisible wall here and lost some time. Which, I mean, negligible. I mean, it's not that big a deal. But it does make the run look a little bit sloppy. Um, so as I'm running through here, I look for this little small tuft of grass right here. Um, and as Yoshi's passing over it, I throw a neutral and it will ricochet and it will bounce off of this and it will break off that, that, this cloud and reveal a mole car in a bubble, which if you did the dupes right at the beginning, you can skip this. But if you failed the dupes, you need to, if you fail the dupes and you're following the same star route, you need to get both of these stars and then get the mole cloud and go through this foam as the mole and get these red coins. Um... But if you did the dupes right, you can just get the stars and keep going. Um, and so as you jump... So anyway, it's worth noting here, you want to be at 23 stars, like I said before. 
um, at least 23 stars um, because you're going to do another ricochet shot to get two stars plus five that come out of the cloud for your last seven if you have 23. Um, but if you don't have, if, you, if, you're, le if you're less than 23, you're going to have to take a backup star cloud and I'll show you where that is. Um, so as I land up here, I immediately turn around and I was fortunate enough to get this on the first shot. So I start, I turn around and I start aiming an egg um, and I let it come from the bottom. And as it gets to this exact angle, um, this is a pixel perfect shot here, which makes it sound hard. And, and it is difficult, but it's not pixel perfect, you know, makes it sound harder than it really is. And it's really just not that big a deal. Um, but this is the exact angle you want. You want to memorize this angle, memorize what it looks like, lock your egg there and continue running backwards. And I'm, I missed it here. What you can do is as you fall off here is do left, right on the controller and you can avoid hitting this corner, which I did not. I hit it anyway. Um, and so what you want to do when you get here is you want to run down the slope. I ran down way too far. Um, I'm not really sure what was going through my mind. I think I was just in, in derp mode for a minute. Uh, you don't have to run this far down, but you do want to run down the slope. And as you pass over kind of the very left side of this of this bump here yes the left side of this tiny bump uh I, that's the visual cue i look for and then i let go of the egg and not really sure why i jumped there i need to try that without jumping but you want to let the egg go before if you do any jump there you want to make sure you let the egg go before you jump and what it does is it sends the egg back through this mole exit section and gets that coin um, so I kind of jump I bonk there and didn't lose any speed I run down a jump and then start fluttering um, and then as I'm aiming the egg I kind of start holding backwards and I I angle the the cursor to bounce and get this red coin over here um, and then I swallow this Mauser and get that red coin uh, shuffle a couple eggs you can ignore that <clears throat> so I jump down here and I make it down, make it down. You want to jump over this tap tap, immediately turn around, and as he's jumping up, you want to tongue him out of the way. I tongued him more times than I should have, but I didn't want to get hit. Um, and as you fall down in this hole, you will reveal a star cloud. So you want to reveal the star cloud and then immediately aim an upshot and jump. The jump is important here. If you do not jump, it will not crack as a red egg, and you'll have to get the backup cloud. So you want to throw your neutral and then jump as you're throwing the neutral you want to jump at i mean as you're throwing the upshot you want to throw throw the neutral and jump at the same time and what that does is it makes the egg crack on this cloud as a red egg and you you'll get seven stars putting you at 30. so you just get this red coin jump over here as soon as i jump over this tap tap i start aiming an egg from the bottom and i lock it right as the egg right as it is in line with this is the angle I look, there's a couple different angles at work here, so it's not super duper precise. Um, it's kind of precise depending on, you know, how you want to do it. But I kind of look for this exact angle here, something either here, the top of the cursor is in line with this here or, or the top of the platform. I find that either one kind of works. Um, and when I get to this third bump right here, you know, one, two, three. I jump and throw the egg at the same time. And what that does is it bounces, it misses the tap tap and gets the red coin. Now, if you um, hit this tap tap and it does not get the red coin, the tap tap will, will fly backwards and roll. Um, eggs do not kill tap taps. Um, the only way to kill a tap tap is to have something smash it or have Poochie run over it or to tongue it off the screen. Uh, eggs will not will not kill tap taps so it will bounce and roll and then immediately start jumping again so what you can do is if you miss that coin you can hop back up here and tongue as you tongue a tap tap it will stop whatever motion it's doing for a couple of seconds so you want to tongue it to make it stop jumping and then jump over it grab the coin tongue it again and then jump back over um or the safer strat um if you miss it if you miss it and he rolls Sometimes what I do, depending on how lazy I am, uh, is I'll grab this this frozen melon um, and then freeze the tap tap and run through him. 
And then as I'm coming, as I, cause you get three spits, you get three frozen spits, uh, three, uh, frozen breaths, I guess. Um, so you, you, you would use the first one on the tap tap and then I spit the second one to get it out of my mouth as I'm jumping down here while I'm in the air. And then I do the same thing right here to get rid of the third one, to get rid of the melon in my mouth. So if you're at any less than 30 stars, there's a star cloud over here. So you need to get it if you're short stars, uh, and avoid this tap tap at all costs. Um, so I kind of run down here, avoid the slopes. And as I pass under here, you want to be careful. If you do this too slow, this Mauser will hit you. Um, but if you're fast enough, you can run underneath him. He'll drop out. And I actually tried to back tongue him and I missed it. Um, so, but you can back tongue him. And, and as you jump, if you have the Mauser in your mouth, you want to jump here and swallow him. And then you run down here, stand on the edge of this platform and throw a neutral. You want to listen for the red coin audio cue. Um, I eat that guy there. Um, because you want to be at three eggs, at least three eggs when you fall down to this last flower. And I'll explain why in just a second. Um, so what I do normally, what you are supposed to do, the optimal strat here is to tongue this Mauser and keep him in your mouth for the bonus skip. So I did not do that. I was not thinking and I jumped and swallowed him, um, which not the end of the world, but it's not the optimal strat. So if you end up swallowing that guy, you just you want to you want to bounce off that Mauser um, so that he doesn't hit you, um, and just avoid getting eaten here. Um, and you like I said, you want to be at at least three eggs when you fall down here because if you are not if you're not at three eggs here, if you're at one or two, this Mauser will run to the right immediately and will probably block your shot to get this flower. Um, so if you're at three eggs, he most likely won't do that. So right before I land on this button, I throw a neutral. And it will ricochet and get the flower. So, but if you still have that Mauser in your mouth, like I was saying earlier, um, it's this one, it's this one right here. You want to tongue him and keep him in your mouth. Um, and if you do that, you'll keep him in your mouth and you won't have a three eggs here. You only have two, depending on what your eggs are. Um, and then you just kind of jump down uh, and you'll still have him in your mouth and you can still throw the neutral um, and get it and you'll still have him in your mouth and you want to do a series of jumps quick jumps to get up here uh, you want to make sure you're watching these so they don't hit you and then you kind of want to make this really scary jump here so you don't get hit right at the very end so if you have an enemy in your mouth for the bonus skip, you just continue to hold right and then do the Z-Wing like normal. If you do not have an enemy in your mouth, as soon as you exit and this starts to fill back in, you'll see I am not pushing any buttons on my controller. You want to let go until Yoshi stops, until Yoshi completely stops. Let go until Yoshi completely stops. Double tap right twice. And then on the, you want to go, it's one, two, three. You double tap twice, and on the third one, you hold it. And you run, and then run straight into the goal ring. And that is enough to slow you down to not get a bonus. Um, again, it's stop, double tap right, and then on the third... Uh, it's, really a, it's really a triple push. I mean, let's just call it what it is. It's a triple push. But on the third push, you hold right. So you go, let go, one, two, hold and then run into the goal ring. And that is a David B. 1989 special. Uh, that is uh, his strat. I learned that from him. Um, and it is a very, very awesome backup bonus skip uh, for a very, very hard stage. So um, that's all for the tutorial part. I'm going to rewind it so you guys can see what it looks like from the beginning. And then, uh, and then we'll go from there.
Thank <laughs> you. 